Welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles. I am your host, Bored Gamer Girl, and uh, <laughs> we're doing something that probably seems a little strange. Uh, we're we're starting the World Tree campaign. Um, during the Masters of the Elements campaign, it was alerted to me that, uh, or made known to me that maybe I was doing things out of order. So I decided to take a look at uh, Google and Wikipedia and try and figure out what the actual order was for the the story. So, technically the way they were released, what we should be doing after Masters of the Elements is Clash of the Dragons. But looking at that, it basically should come next to last. So then I looked at Revolt of the Beastmasters, trying to figure out, okay, well, should that come next? Um, but after skimming the uh, storylines in an attempt to not ruin all of it for me, but to also just have an idea of what the order was. It seems like it should go the World Tree and its sequel, The Fiery Moon, and then we'll do Revolt of the Beastmasters, Clash of the Dragons, and then the uh, the last one, which is the final chapters, I think. Um, yeah, so... <clears throat> if you don't like the way I'm doing it, I'm sorry, but I'm doing what I think is best in terms of the storyline order, and, uh... Yeah, whatever. It's, it's heroes. So let's start a new game. <clears throat> world Tree. Tarnum is drawn to a distant region to save the World Tree, that which gives life to all living things, from the necromancers. But a far more dangerous enemy waits for the immortal hero, an enemy he has no chance of defeating. Well, that sounds unfortunate. Alright, a distant cry. Tarnum must defeat all necropolis towns in the area. If Tarnum loses a battle, then the entire campaign is lost, for it is he that everyone relies on. Heroes are limited to level 8, but Tarnum and his two best heroes will transfer over. I think we go last. We have a small map. 20 hobgoblins, 20 wood. Um... I think... I think I'm going to take the wood. Uh, also, let's see here, one, two, three, four, yeah. <clears throat> We're going to start on, on uh, normal and then we'll, we'll work our way up. And uh, yeah, here we go. Tarnum traveled alone, drawn to a distant, sparsely populated region to save something called the World Tree. He didn't know what it was, or even what threatened it, yet he felt he was the only one who could help. That person would get the D on world. It's on like the world tree. Not, not what I was looking for. Save the world tree! It was like a scream inside my head, startling me from my sleep. I would have dismissed the cry as part of a nightmare, except I felt compelled to travel to the northeast. Who but the ancestors could give me such a message? But they usually calm me before them when they assign me a task. Why would they give me such an obscure command? Nonetheless, I followed the feeling inside me and rode hundreds of miles to the northeast, where I joined the remnants of a barbarian tribe. These people have lived here for countless generations, guarding the secret caves in the surrounding mountain, even though they didn't know why. Then the necromancers came, defeated them, and entered the caves. No one has seen the necromancers since. I guess I have been summoned to this place to, to battle the necromancers, so I have entered the caves as well. Alright, we need to uh, put you up and you down. <clears throat> awesome. Oh, this is more like the turn of my remember. Advanced offense, specialty offense. Yes, this is Barbarian Turnum, and he is awesome. Um. Yes. <laughs> we are taking Gertison, because Gertison is awesome. You suck. <laughs> With your stupid eagle eye nonsense. You are super awesome. Excellent. We'll get ourselves a town hall.
Whatever, we need to uh, upgrade Tarnum. Tarnum is the first priority. And you know what? We're even going to take your ballista. Yep. Alright, Tarnum. Ahead, you spot the scene of an old battle. The skeletal remains of fallen soldiers litter the ground, and a foul stench wafts towards you. But wait! One of them moves! It stands, brandishing a sword, much in need of a polish. Then another stands, and another. This is a trap! Except that I saw it coming. Oh, I need to move that up and change. And all the statistics. And yes, I think that's what I want. Yes, okay. <clears throat> Ow. Alright, that was not as effective as I was hoping for. Basic armor! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I'm stupid. Yes, I am very stupid. Well, let's kill these guys. Thank you. This still seems loud. Why is this so loud? Two, one. Uh, map scroll speed, share horse speed. We want to bring that up. Is my sound high? Yes, that's what the problem is. My sound is high. Sorry about that. Basic armor for you, too. Oh, this is going to be good. We are going to kill lots of people. I feel it. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I should do this because Tarnum should really get a mage book or a spell book. One of my scouts witnesses a strange battle yesterday. He hid in the shadows as two necromancers fought. They sent their armies of skeletons and zombies at each other for more than an hour, and when it was over, only one of the necromancers walked away. Apparently, my enemy fights amongst themselves. All the better for me. With a little luck, they'll kill each other off before I have to risk the lives of my own men. <clears throat> yeah, good luck with that. Whatever. Not the best spells, but good enough. Your horse stops, catching the distant sounds a moment before you do. Moaning. A shiver runs down your back, but you continue. Lots of zombies, lots of zombies. Oh, a pack of wraiths. Awesome. Oh, yes, we'll also buy you a spellbook, too, while we're here. There has been no sign of the necromancers in this area, but we suspect they're entrenched in the tunnels below. The necromancers probably expected someone to follow them into these tunnels, hence they are more thorough in their destruction of the things living in these tunnels. Food is scarce. I have been forced to ration our meals, and I have placed a heavy guard on the wagons that carry supplies from the surface. If my supply line should ever be cut off, we will all starve. Pathfinding also seems reasonable. Not really much else to do here other than deal with some zombies.
Let's do and skin you a little bit more. So that they do even less damage. Oh, they... Whatever to me. No, no. Don't go that way, you little jerkwads. Run. Run over here. I don't have haste, do I? No. Whatever. We'll try and protect you, wolf riders. See how it goes. Now, of course, my magic is all gone. <sighs> Tactics as well. This is like... <clears throat> this is fantastic. Alright, we want to get ourselves a city hall at least. That'll be our goal for this week. Something like that. Okay, okay. We're not taking on those guys because they probably kill me, quite frankly. Gernison. Let's explore what's this way. Places we can't go to. <clears throat> A scholar. Run back here. Alright, well you're getting the experience. Basic earth magic too! This is pretty pretty solid so far, my friend. Alright. Well, you're not taking on lots of anything right now. You're I don't know, heading around here, pretending to be useful. Um Yeah. Want a cliff nest? Yes. Still, the ancestors are quiet. Not a word since I was awakened by the words, Save the world tree. I'm still not sure if I'm on the correct path. I seem to remember a story from my youth about the world tree. According to barbarian legend, the world was created when a pine cone fell from the world tree. All life sprung from its fruit, and still does. But how can I save the world tree if I don't know where it is? Perhaps that is what I should be doing looking for the world tree, instead of fighting these blasted undead. Yes, but clearly, searching for the world tree will lead you, or killing the undead will lead you to the searching. Oh, could have gotten behemoths. That probably would have been the smarter thing to do. Oh well. Oh well. We'll just, uh, pretend that I did something smart instead of potentially doing something stupid. Um... Yeah, Gernison. We're just gonna sit here. I have nowhere else to put you for right now. Now the next question is... Uh, they or Jabarkus? Fay is not horrible, but I think Jabarkus is better. Mainly because I love the offense. The offense is so good. Um, alright. Please don't give me something crappy. Plus one attack skill. That is not crappy. We'll fight these guys next. Um, yeah, you're just gonna follow, turn around like a puppy. <clears throat> Alright, now we want to get ourselves a capital. Capital. And then we'll work on getting ourselves other troops. The familiar, awful moaning that echoes endlessly through these tunnels gets louder and louder as you follow this path. Finally, out of the darkness, stumble the source of the sound. 
Zombies! You're too close to avoid them, so you lift your sword, looking forward to end that horrible noise. Oh my goodness. That was a lot of dialogue for some zombies. I'm just saying. Just saying. Come here, zombies. No! Crap heads! Uh, I'm still an idiot, apparently. Basic Earth Magic sounds like a plan! Okay, I don't need you to do any of this nonsense. Get some defense. The skull- this home was made for my father's school. I will not let you- I will not be giving it up to you so easily. Oh! Well, you could have told me what I was fighting. Okay. Wolf Riders, you die way too easily. Please don't even get thank you. And we took a skull helmet. Oh, whoop de do. Alright, now Jabarkus, you're not Jabarkus, Gurnison. I haven't bought Jabarkus yet. I'm still mulling over that purchase. We'll take some gold. And now we're saving up for our capital. So many zombies killing me here with these zombies. Oh no! No no! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! That was stupid. Oh yes! No, I'm okay. Uh, yeah, you'll kill these guys. No. Excellent. That's the way we should have been doing it all along. Basic artillery. It's also good. Oh my goodness, we are like filling these things up. But artillery is just awesome. I mean, a pack of vampires. No. 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 Not yet. Not yet. We are not dealing with a pack of vampires yet. That is my executive decision. I will not change. Yes, there we go. Capital me. Can you... No, we have to fight that guy, so we'll come back here. I summoned five runners to my tent for a special task. I have made a list of the five wisest shaman in the area. I want you to deliver these letters to each of them, and I want you to let them know the names of the other wise men who received the same letter, I said. One of the runners seemed confused. He said, You want us to give the same message to five different shaman? Why? Because that way they'll know they're competing with the others, and they'll work harder. Deliver them quickly. That actually makes some sense. Way to be making some sense. Alright, now you're gonna run back here and again continue to follow around like a little puppy. And... I think I want the orcs. 
they're good. Or at least they're ranged. Yeah, why not? Oh, you're in one solid group this time. We're gonna have to gang up on you then. Oh yes, and now I have control of the ballista. Look at you go. You move five, four, one, two, three, four, okay. Let's go. Please kill a large chunk of them. Not quite as large a chunk as I was hoping for, but should be good enough. Gernison! Here you come to save the day. Let's get some more gold. And we've got a pillar of fire. Oh god. Oh, there are portals everywhere. This is probably like, oh hey, let's try and find the right portal. Which means that portal probably is not the right one. But okay then. Turn them. Pack of wraiths it is. Thirty points of damage. Like I'm just gonna lose it all anyway. Might as well. Nice. I can't. I'm too pathetic at the moment to avoid losing troops. <sighs> you know what? I think that was a mistake. Because. Do I really want. Yeah, for plus one knowledge. You're gonna basically just make me awesome, aren't you? Ooh, a pack of zombies. Oh no. I'm still going to pursue you because <laughs> right now we are in the give me experience game. Well then, I should just have you do stuff. Basic wisdom as well, we're gonna want that. I think. Well yeah, because we'll get necropolis towns. Look at that, that is just... I, I'm really happy with this setup. I'm like, nothing is wasted. It's so amazing to have a setup where nothing is wasted. It never actually happens this way. Just my luck, I'll basically just get left with a bunch of... Uh, Alright, I want behemoths. Behemoths are just awesome. Pack of wraiths. Yeah, whatever. Come here, wraiths. Really? You get to go before? That's... That's... a little crappy. Oh, 
I'll take some extra experience. Probably a mistake, but... Alright, Gerdison. I think it's time for you to come back here, because you're the one who needs the army next, because... <clears throat> Turnham's almost there. No. I know I can do better. That's a joke. I'm not right. Hello. All five of the shamans say they will help, although all of them warn me against trusting their peers. Even better, none of them ask for compensation. They're going to divulge their wisdom simply for the opportunity to prove that they are the wisest. So I sent my runners back to the shaman with two questions. What is the world tree, and where can I find it? I don't know why you showed me that area, but... I do not need resistance, we can be picky now. Yes, this is what I want you to do. Then you'll wait, and you'll wait. You'll attack them, not kill them. This is, this is brilliant. Alright, and we'll get some of that. And you gave me plus one spell power. This is awesome. Alright, turn him. Now a lot of your work here is done. Gurnison. Jabarkus is back. Yes, see, like Dessa. Dessa is who I want. Because he, I'm gonna remember it's a dude this time, um, he has logistics as his specialty, and that is way better than works. Alright, you're gonna just take these guys. I think that's all you really need. And, uh... I'm gonna start by getting me a gold mine. Because I could use more gold. Come to me, pack of wraiths. Oh, I even have tactics. Oh, yeah, J not Jabarkus. Now I'm going to be calling Gurnison Jabarkus the entire time. Gurnison is awesome. Sure, drain all my spell points. See if I care. I don't. Just FYI. <sighs> yep, keep draining those spell points. Oh no. Oh yeah, you can take some pathfinding too. Alright, you're gonna get us the gold. And I guess you're gonna be the one who's, uh... experience farming. I need troops. I'm a little bit poor.
So I need Dessa to have an actual, I don't know, something that looks like an army. Yep, you can get basic wisdom as well. Perfect. Let's go this way. I'm not sure that we actually want those yet. Well, let's start with lots of raids. They're easy. Oh. Yeah, and then we're gonna call it a day as soon as I finish dealing with these crap heads. Come to me. <laughs> I love how easily I destroy you. Alright, we're gonna call it a day here, so thanks everyone for watching. This is Board Gamer Girl saying have a great day. See ya!